Hi guys, it's me, Mike D57S. I gotta tell you, I had a very great birthday, and I loved my, and I it was great. I had delicious Carvel cake, and now I am 16 years old. Whoopee! And now, Edward was the first model I owned. Edward was not only the only model I got. Another model I got for my birthday is for my grandma, the new model. Bachman Devious Diesel. And now, my opinion about this character. Sure, he is, well, annoying. And yeah, he's like the true villain in this. But actually, in believe it or not, Diesel's my own true villain. I'm just gonna back him up for a second. Uh, there. And yeah, Diesel's actually my favorite villain of all time. And in the original Thomas series, he was annoying. And now. I'm really glad. I can't believe he's actually turning into a good guy a bit. And, oh well. Now to the re So, the model of Diesel in the show and the Bachman Diesel get a 10 out of 10, but right now, it's time for a full review. Now, this Diesel model, I gotta be honest with you, is heavy. Because he's a Diesel. And here's all the details on him. They got everything on him. This machinery and all that. Like, I think this is the vents were where, oh, actually, this must be the fence where the smoke comes out of Diesel's engine, and this must be where you fill the oil in Diesel, and fill the class oil with Diesel, and I gotta be honest with you, the Hornby model of Diesel, I, I hate it. it, it's just terrible, because it not only captures the look of its prototype, the face doesn't capture his personality at all. Oh, the colors are right. And, um, the machinery here, and more vents where um, smoke will come out. And I love the wheels. The wheels look more Season 2-like, and this is probably a reason Bachman Duck could probably be made. And I think Bachman Oliver should be made as well. And also I like is that they have the silver side rods Diesel used to have, like... In the season two, but in season season six and onwards, they painted it black, and I hated it when they did that. When they did that, yeah, and they got the step ladders here, and these three molded ribs on here, and of course, there's the buffer beam, and I like the hook and how it's designed. Red pad with a black hook, and that's what I like. The back to pipe, and of course, th there is one nitpick, and of course, I know what you all thinking. Yes, the CGI face. Why, Bachman? Honestly, why did you have to give Diesel a CGI face? It sucks! Yeah, and yeah, I hate seasons 13 and, and onward. Okay, some episodes were good, but having Diesel with a CGI face is horrible. The yet only seasons of Thomas the Tank Engine that I love are Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4, and Season 5. In Season 5, of course, Diesel wasn't in it, but... If they were to use a face for Diesel, like, if they did give Diesel a CGI face, use the CGI Devious face, because that would capture his personality. The Hornby model never captured his personality at all. This should have been a Devious face just to get his, his character, because they don't call him Devious Diesel for nothing. Okay, and, um, also, but more importantly, use the original model face, like, is season two face, but not the angry face, because if a kid were to buy that, he'll just freak out. It just use that devious face when he's like, um, well, you get what I mean. Yeah, they should have used the devious look for Diesel instead of the CGI crap. And, well, they got this headlamp, headlamp right here and these two other lights here. I keep hyping. I love, and this coupling is a very, is very, and I like how the buffer beam is. They got the step ladders, right, and... I love the way Bachman makes Class 08 models. Hornby doesn't make the Class 08 models very right. Well, at least, like I, as mentioned before, the only thing that they did get from the original Thomas the Tank Engine, Thomas the Tank Engine Friends series is the silver side rods from when Diesel was introduced. And like I said before, yes, I still am a huge fan of Thomas, but only the original, the new one sucks. And enough of that, here are some other step ladders on Diesel's cab. And unlike the Hornby model, the cab isn't open, and uh, and also if they had out the windows, they painted them gray so you could see that. So that's good. The doors here as well, 
And I love the buffer beam on the back. They still got that hook I like. And the in the vacuum pipe is there as well. And a really large hook and loop hook coupler as well. And here's more like lines, uh, whatever they are, and diesel in the back windows, which are still painted gray. There's the top, and here's more of those vents on diesel. And I think, like I said before, this must be what where diesel gets his oil from. And here's them on, on, also on the side rods. They had these screws to screw in diesel's wheels. And, of course, that. And another thing, like, here's under diesel. Like, that's another thing. Like, they got them right, except for a Hornby model. They had, a, like, a steam engine uh, on a class 08. It, it, it just looked terrible. And this one is better. So the Bachman model, despite the stupid CGI face, it still gets a 10 out of 10. A Hornby model, it gets, well, um... Uh... 4 out of 10, 5 out of 10 actually, yeah, 5 out of 10, because it doesn't capture the look of his prototype, or the, his personality face, or the wheels that look just like that, so yeah, and I'm just going to give him a run, and yeah, like all Bachman trains that are all Thomas, because all trains don't have, trains don't have faces, they get the moving eye mechanism, when you... yep, you even get that, and I'm going to compare, and also another thing, in the, even in the TV show, Diesel really also looks nice when you compare him to the other engines. First, I'm going to compare him to Thomas. And he and Percy are now my two favorite characters. Alright, so here's his comparison with Thomas. Now, he's much longer than Thomas in length. In the length and, like, height. He's really bigger. When you turn Diesel around... Yeah. When you turn him around, you can't really see Thomas, except for here now. That's not only Thomas, even Percy. That's right. You can't really see Percy. Um, you can't really see Percy at all. That's right. And, and he's really longer than Percy. Um, and I'm gonna compare him to James, my other Thomas model. I'm just gonna get James's engine, not the tender. Okay, to believe it or not, they're actually like the same length a bit. Yeah, actually, they are the same length. And he and James, and also on the length. Yeah, and he's also like taller than James's like boiler and all that. But he still looks amazing when you compare him to the other engines and. Oh, uh, and of course, I'm going to compare him to my other birthday model, my Bachman Edward, but I'm just going to use the picture. He's even very taller than Edward, like, uh, very, very tall, like, uh, let's see, if I turn him around, uh, yeah, believe it or not, uh, yeah, you can't, like, really see Edward. But the same way you can't see Tom from Percy. Wait, but can you see James from the corner? Hold on a second, guys. Uh, can you see James? No, you can't see James but from the side view of Diesel. Yeah. So Diesel's like my favorite villain of all time, even though he sucks in the TV show. Uh, but he's still a great villain. And speaking of villain, they should make the Bachman Diesel 10. And also, I'm going to compare him to my custom... Well, that's all I said. 10 out of 10 for the Bachman Diesel. And yes, I will be doing a speed test and strength test, but that will be later. Anyways, I had a great birthday, and thank you all for very much, and I want to thank everybody for wishing me a happy birthday. Anyways, see you later, folks. Bye.